right now at Victoria's Secret. Bras are $35 and under. That's right, $35 and under. Plus, get a free flirt blanket with any $75 purchase for a limited time only and only at Victoria's Secret. The groundbreaking drama Chicago Med has everyone raving. And Tuesday, how do you save a child's life? If you don't let us do this, your baby is going to die. When the mother refuses treatment. Get her away from me! This is child abuse. Chicago Med, new Tuesday on NBC. What did you uh, think, Lou? That was a walk, baby. Now, Brazil, yes. USA, Jamaica, Thailand. Yes. Oh, my God. USA had that swimwear walk down to a science. Yes. See what I did there? They follow each the other, scientists. Brazil and USA. How about, um, what did you think about uh, Colombia? Colombia was great. Uh huh. They Sri were Lanka, fabulous. Love it. South Africa, lots of personality. All right, that's our recap, everybody. Well, Welcome back to Miss Universe. These 16 women have a lot to be proud of. They all made an impact during the preliminary competition and just lit up the stage in the swimsuit round. But six of them are about to be eliminated. Fans everywhere have been voting for their favorites all night. So let's take a look at the home vote. The judges' scores have been counted and the voters at home have weighed in. It's time to reveal our top 10. The first contestant to make it to the top 10 is Venezuela. Como mujer con toda mi feminidad, me impuse en una carrera catalogada para hombres y aquí estoy con mi título de ingeniero mecánico. Luego rompí otro estereotipo que una Miss jamás estudió este tipo de carreras. Me convertí en Miss Venezuela y ahora estoy aquí ante el universo diciendo Venezuela. No hace falta imitar a un hombre para poder estar a su altura o, o para estar debajo encima, realmente no hay, no hay medida con dedicación y con mucho esfuerzo nosotros podemos siempre alcanzar lo que queramos. Venezuela. Moving ahead in the competition is USA. The journey to becoming a scientist actually started at a young age. I just fell in love with chemistry because of my high school chemistry teacher. And that led me actually to my career at the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission. So we have a neutron that is ionized, uranium-235-236, and we create energy. Being someone who struggled with math but fell in love with science and being so discouraged and to believe that I could never be a scientist is the reasons why I started this program. I do hands-on interactive science experiments and I show the children that science is fun, it opens your imagination, and it's everywhere. And go. <gasps> and that is why I encourage young girls to find a passion for science and a passion for discovery. USA. The next woman to advance is Philippines. The ocean has a calming effect on me. Just being out in the water, you just basically have to surrender yourself to the ocean. When you catch your first wave, you just feel so victorious. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, we've always lived close to a beach. We were always wakeboarding, scuba diving. That's something that's just been embedded in me. Recently, I opened my own coffee shop on Shargao Island in the Philippines, and I'm so proud. I feel like I've really grown into 
a new woman since starting this business. And hopefully that inspires people to have a goal and work towards that goal. Philippines! Taking one step closer to the crown is... Canada! One of the strongest lessons that I learned is how powerful women can be when they set their minds to something. There are a number of challenging moments in everybody's life. One time where I thought I might fail was my engineering degree. It is not a walk in the park and I was balancing that with a full-time job. And there were a number of times during that program where I wanted to call it quits. The important thing is to look at the end goal and see where you will end up at the end of it. Canada, still alive in the competition is South Africa. Literally a month after my crowning, I was hijacked and held at gunpoint. I put my hands up, got out of the car, gave them the keys, gave them my phone and tried to run away but the guy pulled me back and pushed me back into the car telling me get in, you're going with us. I took a chance and I punched the guy in his throat. I managed to run away. I was able to, to go to a safe place. No! As Miss South Africa, I was able to launch Unbreakable. Cut. No! My campaign consisted of getting specialists in their field together to equip women with the necessary skills and knowledge on how to empower themselves. Yeah! This was a traumatic experience and it was really, really bad and I will not allow myself to be a victim. South Africa. Locking down the next spot is... Spain! When you're a kid, you don't really understand why other kids make fun of you. I didn't like being told, and now I realize how privileged I am to be this tall because that has allowed me to play basketball. I've been working in schools, tell them about my experience with bullying and how I overcame it. I'm really focused, I'm really disciplined, so persistent in what I want, I follow my dreams. I became the person I am today through basketball and through sports. I think we need to focus on what unites us instead of what makes us apart and different. Spain! Also headed into the final 10 is... Brazil! Eu nasci num estado bem humilde no Brasil também, que se chama Piauí. A minha família é muito grande, muito, muito grande. É uma família muito calorosa, muito receptiva. Uma das coisas que eu mais gosto de fazer é passar para as pessoas motivação, principalmente os jovens e as crianças negras, a se aceitarem e respeitar a sua beleza. Ninguém é igual a ninguém e precisamos respeitar isso, respeitarmos a diferença, porque eu sou diferente, você é diferente, todos nós somos diferentes. Brasil! Only three spots left. Still in the running is. Colombia! My family is my team. My mom, my dad, and granny are the ones who want me to make my dreams come true. When I was a little girl, I was bullied. I was the fat girl of my classroom, and it hurt a lot, but it showed me how to be strong and how to look into people's soul. If I told the girl that I was years ago, that this would happen, she wouldn't believe me. 
I showed that girl that she could do anything she wanted with passion, with love. I am the same girl just now in high heels. Colombia. Two more to go. Breaking through to the next round is Thailand. Thailand is very special in the sense that when you eat, you share everything. And this sort of represents the Thai people. We're very caring and sharing. When I finished my master's in marketing, it was a time in my life where I didn't have anything planned out for me anymore. I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know who I was. I think though being that lost, it really made me find myself and it made me really realize what I wanted to do and why I was here. And I think that I could actually make a difference in the sense of teenage pregnancies. There's sort of a stigma when it comes to teenage pregnant women. The young girls who get pregnant are sometimes shunned from society. I really want to help them get back to studying and pursuing their dreams. Thailand. Seven women are waiting to hear their names, but there's only one spot left. The last contestant to make it into the top 10 is... Jamaica! I am Jamaica. You should really see the magnitude of our landscape. We are very authentic in whatever we do and what we bring to the plate. I'm in the process of learning sign language. You know, it's really hard for them not to be able to get the same equal opportunities or they treat them less because they have a disability or they are different. So I'm also in the process of building a sign language app, which is really to break the barriers of communication between persons of a deaf society and persons of the, of the hearing counterparts. Jamaica! Well, congratulations to this year's Top 10! These world-class women are a shining example of what it means to be confidently beautiful. By the end of the night, one of them will be our next Miss Universe. Now, the national costume competitions. It isn't just a fan favorite. It's an official Steve Harvey favorite. I spend this entire part of this competition making faces. Well, trust me, these costumes sometimes are really, really crazy. Check out these highlights from the National Costume Competition held earlier this week. You look amazing. Getting ready, baby. Venezuela. Guatemala. Costa Rica. Peru. All right, Curacao. Yes, and then together. Beautiful. This is really, really exciting to see all the girls in the national costumes, see what each one of the women chose to represent and share about their country and their culture. That's exciting. Canada. Ecuador. And welcome Korea, Mexico, Dominican Republic, Colombia. Yeah. Nicaragua, USA, Iraq, Thailand. Well, with me now is the winner of the National Costume Competition. I saw some crazy costumes uh, on that stage, and I don't want to say yours isn't that crazy, but uh, that's, that's the outfit. 
Look, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. That's it. That's pretty hot. It was a pow. It zips a pow. I got to get a suit like that. I got to do that. That's a, hey, thank you, Japan. Listen, 10 women are still in the running for the title. The quest for the crown continues when they hit the stage for the evening gown competition with an electrifying performance by Fergie. It all happens next, right here, everybody, when Miss Universe continues. And then I go back to work and everything would be all right. Otherwise, I'd be walking around like an idiot, going, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And he helps me. He, he does. Helps you. helps you what? Get in and out of the sack? Oh, Is that what he helps you do? He helped me. Sure. What the hell do you expect me to do, man? What do you expect me to do? He helped me. Unlike ordinary toothpaste, Colgate Total fights bacteria on teeth, tongue, cheeks, and gums for a healthier mouth. So you're totally ready. Colgate Total, be totally ready for life. Coke Zero is now Coke Zero Sugar, with great Coke taste. Some people were excited to hear the news, some were skeptical. So we're not going to have the star of the show you're watching come out and say, you'll love it. No special jingle written by this week's hottest pop star. No famous internet celebs who happen to be holding the label just so. Okay, maybe just one little.